Hello everyone, this is uh, video number four where we keep going working with derivatives of different kind of functions. Today we're going to talk of der about derivatives of exponential logarithmic functions. Let's do it. For number 31, I'll write down derivative right away is going to be product rule. Product rule where u is x to the 5 and v is exponential function e to the 2x. Product rule tells me differentiate x to the 5 first, so that's going to be 5x to the 4. Copy the second function e to the 2x plus copy the first function x to the 5 times derivative of e to the 2x. Remember that derivative of e to the x is e to the x, so derivative of e to the 2x is e to the 2x, and then chain rule tells me times, look inside of the exponent and differentiate that piece as well. Derivative of 2x is 2. You can simplify this by factoring out whatever you see is repeated several times. I see that e to the 2x can be factored and x to the smallest exponent, which is x to the 4, can be factored. So x to the 4 and e to the 2x factored gives me 5, x to the 4 goes away, e to the x 2x goes away, plus x to the 5 becomes x. And also there is 2, so it's going to be 2x. Not too bad. Let me just make a note, just uh, in case you forgot. e to the x prime is e to the x. ln x prime is 1 over x. We're going to be using this a lot. What if it's not natural exponent or natural log? a to the x prime still has the same beginning, copy the exponential function. So I will copy the exponential function and then I will do times natural log of the base a. That is why here actually we have e to the x and then natural log of the base e, but natural log of the base e is 1. If you have log base a x prime, then I will have 1 over, still 1 over x, and then I will do times in the denominator natural log of the base. Same idea here, we actually had this piece over here. It was over natural log of e, but natural log of e is 1. The most challenging part is to see chain rule and not to miss out the opportunities to use chain rule in these examples. So the first example is done. The second example looks kind of crazy at the beginning. I can see there's a quotient, it will be product rule, the numerator and the product rule and denominator. This chain rule going on literally everywhere. So if you want to do it as a quotient rule, product rule and chain rule, go ahead and do it. But actually we are teaching you how to work with exponential functions and logs, partially because they really make your life easier. I'll need more space. So I'll go to the bottom. And what I'm going to do here is I will try to simplify this function, which has a lot of quotients and products using log. So take maybe another color and apply natural log to both sides. This is what we call logarithmic differentiation logarithmic differentiation when you apply a natural log to both sides. Then on the left hand side we're going to have ln y and on the right hand side we're going to have ln of this fraction with product rules everywhere and quotient rule and chain rule. Using properties of natural log we're going to simplify this fraction. That's the whole idea. Natural log of y equals and I'm starting simplifying everything right away. Natural log of the quotient gives you natural log minus natural log. So we'll have natural log of x to the 6 times square root. x to the 6 
times the square root x plus 2 minus natural log of x plus 7, x plus 5 to the 6. Natural log of x plus 7, x plus 5 to the 6. Let me check. x plus 7, x plus 5 to the 6. So log, log of the top minus log of the bottom. That's the property of natural logs any logs log of a over b is log a minus log b that's what we used properties now i'm having log of the product here i will put brackets to show you that this is product as well inside of the log well we have property for log as well if we have we're working with products log of the product is a sum of logs I'm going to use this, so let's do it. Left hand side, don't touch it yet, so keep simplifying right hand side. And then y equals ln of x to the 6 plus ln of x plus 2. And let me rewrite it to one half exponent instead of square root. You will see why in a second. Minus ln of x plus 7. And now there should be, I'll put brackets like this, plus between these two, ln x plus 5 to the 6. Did you catch up? This product gave me plus. This product gave me plus. Next step. It still doesn't seem to be easy, even though now you kind of can already differentiate. But do you want to work with uh, chain rule with exponents or not? If not, then use one more property. One more property says, if I'm working with ln a to the x, then x can jump down like here. So we're multiplying by x, the whole log, and now we have a product of x times log. These properties you must know at this moment, and they will save you from doing long differentiation processes. So I'm going to do here is I'm going to put this six down. I'm going to put this one half down. I'm going to put this six down as well. Ln y becomes six ln x. You see now ln x is much easier than ln x, ln x to the six. It's easier to have log. It's easier to have a product of logs time a constant than log of x to the 6 plus 1 half ln x plus 2 minus, and I'm going to distribute negative sign everywhere, natural log x plus 7 minus 6 natural log x plus 5. Finally, this was just simplification of the problem we use logarithmic differentiation here but we did not differentiate yet so finally right now we're differentiating and what we're doing here we're actually starting the implicit differentiation process implicit differentiation says step one differentiate both sides ln of y gives me one over y times dy over dx or y prime if you want equals 6 ln x is 6 over x. Do you all agree or not? Let me write down over here. ln x prime gives you 1 over x. So any number like uh, 75 ln x becomes prime. 75 1 over x. So it's just faster to write it down as 75 over x. Make sense? Example. Keep going. Plus, now I have one half. Ln of x plus 2 becomes 1 over x plus 2. Don't forget chain rule. I have to multiply by the derivative of the function inside. What is derivative of x plus 2? That's 1. So I'm basically multiplying by 1. Minus the same idea with 1 over x plus 7 times derivative of 1 times derivative of x plus 7, which is 1. Don't forget, we do apply chain rule every time. Minus 6 over x plus 5. 
because derivative of log of x plus 5 is 1 over x plus 5 times derivative of the function inside, which is 1. We're almost done. This is almost the answer. Next step of implicit differentiation is to isolate dy by dx to get the whole answer. So it will be y, you see I'm multiplying both sides by y. So this y on the left hand side goes away. It will be y times all these brackets over here, all this long process we just did. But y is given, but y is given at the beginning. Let me see. Um, I would look, I would say, look at the original function given. Look at the original, original function before you applied log. Okay, I'm going up, I'm going to this table 32. 32 was here. Here is my y. This is my y before I applied log for the both sides. So I'm going to just reuse it at the end. Last step is the answer. dy over dx equals, so I will have 6 over x plus, do you know that this 1 half in 1 over x plus 2 can be merged in one fraction, it will be 2 times x plus 2, 1 over, because 2 is in the denominator and x plus 2 is in the denominator, minus 1 over x plus 7, minus 6 over x plus 5, times, huge brackets, times the original function, and the original function is, I'll use another color for you to remember that we just copying the original function, x to the 6, the square root, x plus 2, all over x plus 7, x plus 5, to the 6, and this is the final answer. It seems like, it looks like we did many steps, but actually we did not. We applied log for both sides, then we used properties of log to simplify the result as much as possible. And actually these steps over here can be done at once. If you are really master to properties of logs, laws of logs, you can do it all at once already. So try, I'm actually challenging you to do it in one step. I will do once. I will do try to do it in one step. Then you apply you use implicit differentiation, which means you're differentiating left hand side and right hand side. Left hand side always will be the same. You always have a ln of y, so derivative of a ln of y always will be 1 over y dy over dx. And the last step is always the same. We're multiplying by y to isolate the dy over dx part. dy over dx equals and the answer follows. So this is the first derivative and the logarithmic differentiation. The third problem is just chain rule again. Let me lift this higher. And the first, the third problem here, I will do it right away y prime is 1 over everything you see inside because we're working with log so i will have 1 over x to the 6 plus 2x raised to the fourth in fourth exponent times derivative of the function inside i see something raised to the 4 so derivative of the function inside will be 4 times x to the 6 plus 2x change the exponent now it's going to be 3 times derivative of the function inside and the function inside now is x to the 6 plus 2x derivative of the x to the 6 plus 2x is 6 x to the 5 plus 2 and this is the answer so we did chain rule twice is, do you know how to know how many times you did chain rule you see how many products you have to make the notation shorter i will just put it all in one fraction the denominator was x to the 6 plus 2x to the 4 and the numerator is 4 
x to the 6 plus 2x cubed, that was the first time we did chain rule, times the derivative of the function inside, 6x to the 5 plus 2. That's the derivative of the function inside, inside. And this is the answer. So we did three problems right now. Guess how many channels we're going to have for number 34? I can see it will be 1 over everything I see inside, which is a square root. And then there will be triple product. When I see triple product, I think, wait, maybe I should simplify first using laws of logs. Let's do it a little bit later.